Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about the mass balance. Uh, the mass balance is a way of accounting for all of the conjugate species of an acid or base in, equal, uh, in aqueous solution, uh, whether or not there may be an equilibrium. So first of all, definition is capital F we'll use as formality. And this means the total molarity. For example, um, if you had H2A in solution and it dissociated into HA and A2 minus, for example, the formality would be the addition of the concentrations of all A containing species. Okay, so if you put H2A in aqueous solution and it turns into HA minus, or even if it loses another proton and turns into A2 minus, all of these A containing species will sum up to that total molarity or formality. So formality just has units of concentration. And the mass balance idea is just going to ensure uh, that we obey laws of conservation of matter or mass. So I'll show you how to set up some mass balance equations. For example, if you have 0.2 formal barium hydroxide, this is going to dissociate into two things in solution, barium-2 and two hydroxide ions. And so what we would see is that at equilibrium, the amount of barium times two would be the amount of hydroxide. Okay, or there are two hydroxides for every one barium. In other words, the amount of hydroxide is twice or two times the amount of barium. So here, uh, another example with nitric acid, what you would see is that this dissociates into hydronium when it reacts with water and the nitrate ion. And 0.1 molar would be equal to the nitrate ion. There's one nitrate for every one nitric acid, and that would be equal to the hydronium concentration. It's a one to one here. Okay. Up here, there were two hydroxides for every one formula unit. So two times 0.2 molar means the total hydroxide is 0.4 molar or formal. The amount of barium is still 0.2, right? Because it's just one barium for every one formula unit. And therefore, two times 0.2 gives the same 0.4. One more example, uh, if you have a weak base, such as carbonate, this could protonate once and become the monoprotic acid, bicarbonate, or it could protonate twice and become the diprotic acid. Okay, with two negative charges, you can get multiple species in solution, some of which are both acids and bases. There would be two sodium ions complex with carbonate, one sodium ion with bicarbonate and none with carbonic acid. So 0.3 molar is equal to the sum of all carbonate containing species. Any of this diprotic acid that formed came from protonating the carbonate and it got consumed. Any of the monoprotic form, sodium bicarb, this came from protonating carbonate with water. And finally, any of the sodium carbonate that did not react will remain. And all three of these carbonate containing species will add up to a total molarity at point of 0.3 at any point in time. They will always sum to that. So we can use these mass balance equations in deriving some of the pH equations that we'll need for more complex problems.
So for more practice with mass balance, uh, you can visit unit one of my analytical course guide at chemguides.com.